I'm Richard Jesse Watson. My sister called me Pee Wee, which was okay when I was little. I've been painting uh, pretty much all my life. You know, I started drawing on my mother's sheets when she hung them out one day when I was little. So I just, uh, I, I've always loved to make stuff, and so sometimes I'm making little sculptures, sometimes I, I like to make things out of found objects. And, um, but I also like to do, um, you know, like abstract art because I hate to throw stuff away. When I mix my paints on a palette, then, like this one, here, let's see. Oh, my wife cleaned up my studio. Mixing paints, I mix them on pieces of um, map board or illustration board or whatever. But then there's so much beautiful color, that I just hate to throw it away. So I'll start to tweak it. And if I have a special color somewhere, I'll look through my things and tell, ah, okay, I find one that feels right. And then I'll put, and so anyway, so I, you know, these are just, but I turn them into, uh, you know, something eventually. Gaudi, see that? I I'm, I'm, would love to do a book about Gaudi. Uh, uh, when um, Cecilia Young uh, at uh, Penguin asked me if I would be interested in illustrating uh, a wonderful text, uh, this was a piece I did just as a sort of sample of which direction I would go. And this is, so the idea is sort of collage-ish background with the painted faces, but it's... Um, uh, really delightful, charming, fabulous uh, manuscript uh, by Amy Reed called Welcome to the World. And it's a, basically um, how different cultures around the world welcome little babies into the world. And we have float. Like for this one, I just had fun because some of the gold here is actually Dove chocolate wrappers, which I happen to have on hand. So waste not, want not, eat the chocolate, use the foil. Um, so, we'll see what happens with the rest of the art, but I'm really looking forward to this. So the passage I'm uh, painting here is, Welcome home, says the mother, snuggling tight as her baby first opens his eyes to the light. In this picture, um, it's a friend of mine who's, who's from Colombia. The thing that will be the one of the sweet parts of this project is that there'll be uh, people with their precious little baby babies, but they'll be from different cultures around the world. So the colors, the backgrounds, the fabrics, the skin colors, everything's going to hopefully reflect something of that culture without being, uh, you know, trite or stereotypic, but that actually says, you know, we're here and we're not there. So... I do work in a lot of different mediums. For this book, I, I had a cheap hollow cord door, and so I um, cut that up into little pieces, because well, why not? And it's actually kind of a neat surface. There's sort of a birch panel, or sometimes it's a mahogany, a thin veneer. And I gesso it just because um, uh, I don't want the wood, to the coloring, to leach into the paint. Uh, the projector is just a tool. It's a way to speed things up. I have often looked at photos, copied them by hand, or made things up out of my head. But my art director, uh, Cecilia Young at uh, Penguin Putnam, she specifically asked for uh, pretty tight realism with a loose background. So it's a combination of abstract and realism, and I'm trying to find that sweet spot. So I, I project loosely the image up there, and then I go back in. Uh, the projector will just give me little lines like that. I might look at a photo and copy it. I might do a Xerox, blow it up, trace out the Xerox, or project it with my iPad attached to a digital projector. But then I have two ways of drawing. One is um, actually use the eraser to kind of draw with to do a little bit of tonal sh shading. So. I combine that with a pencil line 
And this is really sort of the underpainting for the painting, or the underdrawing for the painting. And I will glaze on top of this. Uh, sometimes I work in oil, sometimes acrylic, sometimes egg tamper. This will probably be acrylic, just to speed up the process a little bit. But um, So I'll look at the photo, but I will also change the photo. Um, this is... Uh, our friend Berenice, a Colombian woman, and her little baby Catalaya, which is the state or the national flower of Colombia. Now, this would be a combination of painting with um, uh, collage, and I'm not sure what's going to happen with it. Sure, but so. also, sometimes I'll go in with um, masking tape, knock back areas that are a little too dark pull off the pencil. So you can see I'm a little further along on the uh, pencil here. Alright, so I'm putting some uh, clear uh, gel medium. Uh, sort of fix the pencil. I sprayed it with a little bit of a fix it at first and now this gives a little texturing. And uh, we went into a large I'm listening to Alexander McCall Smith's book on tape. Sometimes I will mix um, alizarin crimson <clears throat> with a sap green, which is kind of in a, uh, a lot of the Italian painters would get this neutral value, which you can tweak a little redder, a little greener. And since I'm red-green colorblind, I can actually see these reds and these greens, but there are reds and greens I can't see. Um, which is one of my little um, problems. So, <laughs> so let's just not talk about that. But anyway, I can. This is kind of a challenge to me because it nudges me to um, sometimes paint outside of my comfort zone. Sometimes I'm always outside of my comfort zone. I don't even know where the comfort zone is. Anyway. But starting with kind of a neutral value, then you can go a little darker, a little lighter. Like if you have a pencil drawing and you cover it with a wash of these kind of transparent colors in a mid zone, then your painting's halfway done. Then all you have to do is add a little bit lighter, a little bit darker, and before you know it, your painting's done. This painting was probably a couple weeks working on this, although more with the research and everything. But anyway, it was the first piece that I wanted to sort of suggest as a possible way to go with the book. Cecilia loved it, but she also loved a looser piece, that, the one I had done with the Dove Chocolates, which somebody had to eat all those Dove Chocolates. So I used the gold foil for that first piece. Uh, that's what got me the contract. Um, but anyway, then I did this one of the Colombian uh, mother and baby, and it's a little too tight, which I knew, but I tend to get really lost in detail. So then I had to back off from that, and I may go back in and rework that, or that painting may not even be in the book. Welcome to the world we'll probably have 15 to 16 paintings or more, depending on end sheets. But So I need to have it done next spring sometime or other. And um, I try not to think about deadlines. <laughs> and yet, I have to think about them. So I have a bullwhip in my studio and I lash myself. No, not really. Get back to work. My